inside that closet there where heaven, in order to confound the pride of this great rascal, prompted me to hide. And now I have my long awaited chance to punish his deceit and arrogance, and give my father clear and shocking proof of the black character of his dear Tartuffe. No, dummy. I, I promise silence. Don't make me break my word. To make a scandal would be too absurd. Could wives laugh off such trifles and forget them? Why should they tell their husbands and upset them? You have your reasons for taking such a course, but I have reasons too of equal force. To spare him now would be insanely wrong. I've swallowed my just wrath for far too long and watched this insolent bigot bringing strife and bitterness into our family life. Too long he's meddled in my father's affairs, thwarting my marriage hopes and poor Valer's. It's high time my father was undeceived, and now I've proof that can't be disbelieved. Proof that was furnished me by heaven above. It's too good not to take advantage of. This is my chance, and I deserve to lose it if for one moment I hesitate to use it. <laughs> no! Madam, I must do what I think is right. My heart is bursting with delight, and say whatever you will, I'll not consent to lose the sweet revenge on which I'm bent. I'll settle matters without more ado! <laughs> And here, most opportunely, is my cue. Father, glad you joined us. Let's advise you of some fresh news which doubtless will surprise you. You've just now been repaid with interest for all your loving kindness towards your guest. He's proven his warm and grateful feeling towards you, but it's with apparent abhorrence he would reward you. Yes, I've just now caught him with your wife and heard his whole adulterous offer. Every word. She, with her all-too-gentle disposition, would not have told you of this proposition. But I shall not make terms with brazen lechery, and I feel that not to tell you would be treachery. And I hope that one's husband's peace of mind should not be spoiled by title of this kind. This honor doesn't require it. To be proficient in keeping men at bay is quite sufficient. These are my wish sentiments. And I wish, Donnie, you had heated can this be true, this dreadful news that I hear? <laughs> yes, prophet. I'm a wicked man, I fear. A wretched sinner of the brains and twisted. The greatest villain that has ever existed. My life's one heap of crimes which grows each minute. There's naught but corruption and foulness in it. And I perceive that heaven now praised by me and chosen this occasion to mortify me. Charge me with any deed you wish to name, I'll not defend myself, but take the blame. Believe what you are told and drive tall tube like some base criminal from beneath your roof. Yes, sir, drive me hence with a parting curse, I shall forget for I deserve far worse. Oh, you deceitful boy. How dare you try to stain this purity with so sound a lie? Uh, are you taken in by such a bluff? Enough, you rogue. Enough. Oh, brother. Don't be hard to do. You're being unjust. Believe his story. The boy deserves your trust. Why, after all, should you have faith in me? How could you not know what I might do or be? Is it on my actions that you wish your favor? Or do you trust my pious face? No. No, don't be deceived by such hollow shows. I'm far less from what men suppose. And though the world takes me for a man of worth, I'm truly the most worthless man on earth. Yes, my dear son, speak out now. Call me the chief of sinners, a wretch, a thief, a murderer. Load me with all the names most men of all I'll not complain. I've earned them all and more. I'll kneel here while you pour them on my head as just punishment for the life I've led. Brother, it's fighting up. Have you no heart? Oh, are you so hoodwinked by this rascal's art? Be still, you monster. Sir, I pray you, rise. Villain. But he's silent. Can't you realize what he's doing? One more word from you, and I'll tell you then from then. Oh, brother, don't be harsh with him. I'd rather far be tortured at the stake than see him bear one more scratch from my poor sake. Ingrate. If I must beg you on bended knee to pardon him. Such goodness cannot be. <laughs> now there's true charity. But he's villain be still. I know your motives, and I know that you wish him ill. Yes, all of you, wife, children, servants, all, conspire against him and desire his fall, employing every shameful trick you can to alienate me from this saintly man. But 
The more you try to drive them away, the more I'll do to keep them. And without delay, I'll spite this household and confound his pride by giving him my daughter as his bride. What? You're going to force her to accept his hand? Yes, and this very night, do you understand? I shall defy you all and make it clear that I'm the one that gives the orders here. Come, wretch. Bend and clasp his blessed feet and ask his pardon for your black deceit. That's that swindler's pardon? Why, I'd rather... Really... insult him and defy your father. A stick. A stick! No, no, release me, do! Get out of my house. Be off with you. And never, never dare step foot in it again. Well, I shall go. Well, go you... quickly, then. I disinherit you. An empty purse is all you'll get from me, except my purse. How he blasphemed your goodness! What a son! Oh, forgive him, Lord, as I've already done. You can't know how it hurts when someone tries to blaspheme me in my dear brother's eyes. Oh, but me a thought of such ingratitude. It plunges my soul in the so dark a moon. Such horror grips my heart, and I gasp for breath and cannot speak, and feel myself near death. Oh, you black god, why did I spare you? Why did I not tear you into a little pieces on the spot? Compose yourself, don't be heard, dear brother. These, these scenes, these dreadful quarrels have got to end. I much have set your household, and I perceive that the best thing will be for me to leave. But what are you saying? They were all against me here. They have to think me false and insincere. Oh, what of it? Have I stopped believing in you? Their adverse talk will certainly continue, and charges which you now accumulate, you made by incredible at a later date. No, no, never. Oh, brother, a wife can slay her husband's mind in many a subtle way. No, no. To leave it once is the only solution. That's only to end the persecution. No, I'll not have it. You shall remain. Uh, well, it took me much harder than pain, but if you wish it, I'll be not serving it. But there's one thing that must be said when I see it. For your dear honor and for our friendship's sake, there's one precaution I feel bound to take. I shall avoid your wife and keep away No, from no, you shall not. Whatever they may say, it pleases me to vex them. And for spite, I have them see you with her day and night. Yes, and what more, I'm going to drive them all to despair by making you my only son and heir. Yes, this very day alone, I'll give to you clear deed and title to everything I own. My dear good friend, and son-in-law to me is more than wife or child or kin to me. Will you accept my offer, my dear son? Ding! Oh, things let the will of heaven be done! Oh, poor fellow! Come, let's go draw up the deed and let them burst with disappointed grief!